raise your right hand for me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you shall give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. You can have a seat. Can you state your name and spell it? Uh, Gerald Adlin, A-B-L-A-N. Okay. And um, where do you reside? Uh, my address. Just city and state? Uh, Venice, Florida. Venice, Florida? Okay. How old are you, Mr. Adlin? 59. And um, where did you reside prior to living in Venice, Florida? In Canton, Georgia. All right. And um, for what period of time did you live in Canton? 2009 to 2022. Okay, 2009 to 2022. <coughs> um, and where did you reside? Uh, 215 Mountain Vista Boulevard. Okay. Um, is that here in Cherokee County? Yes. All right. And where is that in relation to where we are now? How, about how far away? Five miles. Okay. Um, and that residence, um, what can you tell me about? Who lived there, the size of it? I lived there alone uh, until 2015 when uh, a friend of mine offered, or a friend of mine had another friend who needed help and I offered them to stay and they stayed for a couple months and then left. Okay. Um, let, me, um, let me start with 2020 um, and then we'll go back um, a little bit more historically. Who lived in your house on December 8th of 2020? Me. Just you, okay. And um, what was your employment at that time? Uh, I worked for a company called Sharp Spring. Did you work from home? Yes. All right. Um, and on that day, did anybody come to your residence? Yes. And who came to your residence? Uh, Brian and another guy. They were picking up some stuff that they left in my basement. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk about that. Who is Brian? Um, he's the friend of a friend who I let stay with me in right. 2015. Do you know his full name? No. All right. Does he go by anything other than Brian? Uh, Z. Okay. What do you call him? Z. Z. All right. Um, and so on December 8th of 2020, Brian or Z came to your residence, you said, with another guy. Do you know who that was? Uh, Jason, I think. Somebody? Jason. Okay. Yeah. Um, and was anybody else with them? There were some, some girls and there might have been another guy I don't really remember. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't really pay attention to it. All right. What were you doing when they came? I was working. I was actually on a Zoom call with work. Okay. So you weren't paying a whole lot of attention to who was with Not them? Not at all. Um, and prior to them coming to your house, who had you communicated with about the fact that they were coming? Just see. Just see. Okay. Um, and you mentioned um, that he was coming to pick up some stuff. Can you tell me a little bit about that? But like what? Okay. Um, why did he have things at your home? Um, they were transitioning to a new place to live when they left, mm -hmm. and uh, they had a lot of stuff that they couldn't bring, so I let them keep it in my basement. Okay. I had an unfinished basement with lots of space. It didn't affect me to be there. All right. It's cl clothes and stuff. Okay. Um, so prior to 2020, um, how much time had you spent with Z or Brian? Two, three months. Okay. And um, how did you meet him? Um, like I said, it was a, a friend of mine. I saw him on a, a video, and that's a friend of mine had him on a video, and that's how I got involved or, or met him. Okay. When was that? 2015. 2015. Okay. So in 2015, a friend of yours had him on a video, and that's how you became familiar with Brian slash Z? Yes. Okay. And what was the nature of that video? Um, I don't really remember, to be honest. Okay. I could find it if you need it, but... What, do you recall what, what sort of forged the connection between you and him? It, um, it, was, it was spiritual stuff. Okay. You know, consciousness related. Nothing, you know, weird. Okay. Um, spiritual and consciousness type video. Yeah. Um, was it something on like YouTube or on yeah, the internet? it was on YouTube. Okay. Um, it's probably still there. All right. So you saw that video and then you connected with Brian? The interviewer who I knew. Okay, so he was being interviewed by somebody else? Correct. Okay. Um, so you connected with him through that interviewer who you knew? Correct. Understood. And you believe that was in 2015? Yes. Okay. Um, and so after you connected with him in 2015, how did your relationship with him develop? Um, I had invited them to come, you know, they needed a place to stay. I offered them my house. Okay. Or and a room. All right. And do you know when that was? 
sometime in 2015. Okay, and when you say them, who are you referring to? Um, Z and his girlfriend. Okay, and do you know who that was? I think it was Chloe. Okay, um, and... But I didn't know her name then. <coughs> okay, um, so how long did he reside in your home? I think it was around three months. Okay. I don't really know. All right, and um, was that intended to be a temporary situation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, how much interaction or observation did you have with them while they lived with you? Not much. Not much, okay. Um, did you ever see anything that concerned you? Not at all. Okay, um, and what happened that caused them to move out? Uh, I was just sick of having people in my house. Okay. It was supposed to be temporary. Mm -hmm. Let's make it temporary. All right. Um, and so was it your decision to have them leave? Yes. Okay. And was there any issue or dispute about that? Not at all. Okay. Um, so how much communication did you have with Z um, after he moved out of your residence in 2015? Get some water. Okay. Could you get him some water, please? Do we need to take a break, or you want to keep going? Uh, do you, if you need to, do you need to take a break, sir? I just want to step outside and clear my throat. Okay. Um, then we will be in recess in place for a few minutes, but you can step back. Um, we were discussing um, them moving out of your residence, um, and I asked you whether there was any issues or concerns with that. And then um, my follow-up question was, how much contact did you have with Z after he moved out? Like, did you maintain a relationship? Sort of. Like, he calls me every once in a while. Okay. Just to catch up. All right. Yeah. And how would you just generally classify the nature of, of those conversations? Cordial. Okay. You indicated that you and him sort of connected under a, a spiritual or consciousness type video. Was that sort of consistently the theme of your relationship? Did, were those the types of things that you discussed? We did at first, but not much after that. Okay. Um, and how would you describe Z? It's kind of hard to describe. He's a nice guy, gentle, kind, um, never, never raised his voice to me or anything. Okay. Have you ever had any conflict with him? I did, but it was over stupid stuff. You know, okay. Nothing earth shattering. Okay. He left something out or he's cooking leeks that stink up the house. Got no, it. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so after he moved out of your residence in 2015, um, is that when he left things at your house? Yes. Okay. And you indicated you had an unfinished basement and you just Correct. allowed those things to stay in your basement? Mm -hmm. Um, how often did you see him between 2015 and 2020? Once or twice. Okay. Um, and would those have been times when he came to your home? Yeah, I think, I don't, I don't remember the timelines exactly. Uh, 
there was a couple times he was passing through and he needed a place to sleep at night, one night, you know, one night mm -hmm. as he traveling from A to B. So okay. I let him sleep over. All right. And you indicated when they came to your home on in December 8th of 2020 that it was Z and Jason and you said some girls. How many? I have no idea. Okay. Like I said, I was on a Zoom call. I didn't really pay attention. They showed up. I opened the door and I went back to my call. Okay. And when you say girls, are you talking about minors or women? Women. Women. Okay. Sorry. Um, were you aware that there was a child there? Yes. Okay. And what did you observe the child as well? Um, I don't recall. Okay. Um, so when they got there, were you already on already working? Yes. Okay. Um, and how much interaction did you have with them when they got there? Very little. All right. Um, and I told them to leave me alone and shut up. You know, I, I'm on a work call. Okay, so that was expressly stated. Yes. All right. Um, and uh, was it surprising to you that he had multiple women with him? Surprising? Yes. Let me ask you a better way. Did you know that he had multiple wives or that he was involved in some type of polygamous situation? <sighs> sort of. Okay. And um, I never witnessed it okay. until 2020, but. Okay. Uh, but you knew generally about it? Yeah. Okay. Um, and do you have any idea what time they arrived to your house um, on December the 8th of 2020? I believe it was in the morning, Okay. but I, I don't really remember. All right. Um, do you know how many vehicles they were in? I think they had two, like a car and an RV, Okay. if I recall correctly. All right. Um, a truck and an RV. All right. Um, and tell me, um, when they got there, where were you physically located in your in house? In my kitchen, my kitchen office. I had an office set up in my kitchen. Okay. Um, and did you have any appreciation while you were at your office set up in your kitchen where everybody else went in your house? No. Okay. Um, and how long were they there before something significant occurred? hour maybe I, I don't really know okay. what the time scale was okay time um, when did you become aware that something was wrong or going on when I heard a lot of banging okay. <laughs> I was I was in my on my call mm -hmm. and I started hearing a lot of screaming and banging from upstairs and that's when I went up upstairs okay to see what's going on describe to me more what you mean by the sound <clears throat> of banging I, I heard I heard some I'm sorry I heard a bunch of screaming from Brian and uh, what was he screaming? Open the door. Okay. I, I think. I, I honestly don't remember. Okay. So I can't say it was open. I don't know what he was screaming. He was going to open the door and bang on the door. Okay. And then I heard the crash of the door being kicked in. Okay. And that's when I'm upstairs. Okay. And um, what happened after you heard the crash of the door being kicked in? <sighs> so this is the part I don't really remember too clearly. Uh, I have read my police report, so I can state what I said there. Okay. Well, I, if that refreshes your memory, that's okay. But if you don't have an independent memory, it actually memory, does not refresh my memory. Okay. But but what I wrote in the police, what I said in the police report, which I don't actually recall now, which could be because of the trauma, but um, that uh, I went upstairs, I saw blood, and I went back downstairs. Okay. To call nine one one, and someone else was already calling them, so I I didn't. All right. Um, after you said you heard him say things about open the door and you heard the door being busted down, um, did you hear him scream or say anything after the door was open? I heard, you know, wailing. What do you mean by that? Like crying, like he was ups he was, you know, monumentally upset okay. by what had happened. Okay. Um, and um, you indicated that that at some point you had said that you saw blood and then you went downstairs to call 911? That's what I said in my police report. Okay. Um, what do you recall about where you went after you went upstairs and what you did? Um, nothing, to be honest. I okay. kind of like wandered in a circle in my house. I, you know, kind of in shock. Okay, in shock. What yeah. were you physically feeling at that time? Horror. Okay. <laughs> um, do you recall when you looked in the room who all was even in that room? No. Okay. Um, do you have any recollection communicating or assisting in communicating with any 911 operator? No. Okay. Um, and uh, 
what do you recall about any response by fire, EMS, or law enforcement? <clears throat> um, I remember the EMT carrying the baby down the stairs. Okay. That's about all I remember. All right. Um, and where were you at? I was in the living room. Okay. Um, and did you have any idea what happened? Did you ever see Ms. Driver come down and retrieve a knife from your kitchen? I did not. Okay. Um, did you have a knife block in your kitchen? I did. Okay. Um, and where would that have been in relation to where you were working? About 15 feet to my right and behind me about three feet. It was next to my stove. Okay. The position that you were working in, would your back have been yes. to, to where that knife block would have been? Um, you said that you recalled them EMS carrying the baby down. Um, what do you recall next in terms of what you did? Police showed up. It just it just kind of spiraled out of you know. Police were there. Um, I that's about all I remember. It was just kind of you know like all right running around. Um, did you have to go anywhere after that? Um, I had to go to the police station to give a statement. Okay. Talk to Detective Cruz, I think was her okay. name. Very nice lady. Um, Do you know who else had to go to the police station to give a statement? There were a bunch of people there. Like three other people, I think. Okay. Were those people that had been at your house? Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, who were those people? I don't remember. I know Jason was there, mm -hmm. the Jason guy. I don't remember. Okay. Was he there? You know, I don't remember seeing him there. Okay. What about the other women? I don't remember. Okay. Um, I was in a waiting room. So I, you were in a waiting room yeah. at the police department? Okay. Yeah. There was like one or two other people there, so I don't know who all was. Everywhere. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, did law enforcement serve any kind of search warrant or do any yes. work, work at your residence? Yes. And what do you know about that? They, they served, you know, served me a search warrant and searched my house. That's okay. all I know. Okay. Um, and did you cooperate with their investigation? Okay. Um, and uh, do you still stay in touch with Z? Like I said, we talk every once in a while, but... Okay. Not really. Yeah. Um, when you say we talk every once in a while, like how... Does he call you or do you call him? He calls me. Okay. Um, and is the nature just like seeing what you've been up to? Yes. Okay. How do you classify your and his relationship? Acquaintances, friends, friends, okay. not close friends, but friends. Yeah. Okay. Um, Um, and he, has he ever shared with you, you said that you were sort of peripherally aware that he had multiple wives. Has he ever discussed with you sort of the... No. None of that? Okay. Have you ever inquired? No. Okay. One moment, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. You said you've known Z since what year, approximately? I believe it was 2015. Okay. Um, you're also aware that there was a, another female involved with Z prior to Miss Driver, correct? The prior? Girlfriend that lived at your house prior to, in 2015. Was there? I don't remember. Well, let's talk about that. You recall talking to the police, correct? Mm hmm All right, and you told the police that in your interview that in 2015 that Z came to live with you with a woman named Gabriella. Do you remember Gabriella? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. And that at some point she was pregnant, correct? Yes. And that you actually had them leave because you were work a single man living there on your own and didn't want a baby at the house. 
That's not true. I, Is, well, if you told law enforcement that, you're just giving oh, that well, now? I, I just didn't want people in my house. Baby would be included in that. All right, well, I can show you that. I believe you. Okay. Um, and so, actually, in 2015, it was not Ms. Driver then. It was Ms. Kuykendall, correct? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. And then, subsequently, you said you've met Ms. Driver prior to December the 8th of 2020, correct? Yes. All right. And you didn't. You told Ms. Gropper that you didn't recall anything odd about any of your previous interactions with her and Z, correct? Correct. All right. And on December 8th of 2020, you had very limited interactions with anybody other than Z, correct? Correct. You were sitting at, in your kitchen at your computer desk. Um, on it, what I believe is there's multiple screens on your computer. Two screens, yes. Okay. Did you have headphones on? Yes. Okay. And did you um, have any idea of where the women were in the house? No. Oh, okay. And the, you, your interactions with Z were mainly for him to get his property out of your house, correct? Correct. All right. And I know you said today that you didn't have any idea of anything else that was weird or going on that day, correct? Correct. But you didn't have any specific interactions with Ms. Driver, correct? Correct. Or the baby? Correct. Or Jessica? One of the other two women? Yeah, no. None of them? Did you have any Other than maybe a high hello kind okay. of Okay. But nothing that stands out in your mind nothing here today? Else. Okay. Um, and you only know him as Z, correct? Correct. Do you know Ms. Driver by a different name? I mean... I know she has a different name, but I don't remember what it was. If I told you it was Kiwani, would that ring a bell? Sure, something like that. Okay. Um, so nothing stands out in your particular mind at this particular point in time about anything unusual. You just were getting on your Zoom call, correct? Correct. All right. And, you know, Z had kept items at your house for several years, correct? Correct. Um, and, you know, you didn't, you, it was a fairly good size house. And you had room in your basement to store some of these things. I think you described it being a guitar, among other things. A what? A guitar. Guitar, clothing, okay. books. Were you kind of happy that he was coming to get his stuff out of your house? Yes. Okay. Um, and I know you described him today as, you know, um, kind, gentle, whatever. Do you remember using other words at the time of your interview? No. Do you remember telling the uh, detective crews that you considered him to be a pain in the ass? No, but he was at times. Okay. And did you also describe him as, or make the statement that he was kind of crazy? <laughs> I may have. Okay. Um, and you follow that up by calling him a hippie and saying that he's weird, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, but nothing stands out personally about Miss Driver in your mind at all that day. Okay. Um, and you talked about how you call him Z and that you're just more acquaintances, correct? Have you had him? We're, we're friends. Okay. We're not besties or anything, but I mean, I consider him a friend. Okay. And nature of your relationship is what? Just talking on the phone or the internet, yes. that kind of thing? Phone. Okay. Uh, don't go out and hang out with him socially? I haven't seen him since 2020. Okay. And there's been, well, even before that, in 2020, he would just kind of reappear or randomly phone call you, correct? You have to answer all that for the oh, papers. Sorry, yes. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Um, and there would be time, long periods of time where you wouldn't hear from him at all, correct? Correct. And then he'd kind of pop back up and say he was coming to stop by? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what happened in this particular instance, correct? Yes. You didn't know the day or two before anything that he was coming, he called you the day of? He may have called me the day or two before and said, we're coming through, I'll pick up my stuff. Um, I don't know when exactly it was, but it was in close proximity to the But the day of, the day that he showed up, you were in contact with him and he was kind of giving you updates about when he thought he was going to arrive? He may have texted me, I don't really remember. Okay. Um, since 2020, what kind of contact have you had? Uh, phone calls, like we've spoken a few times, maybe a dozen times since then. I'm sorry, a dozen? A, do a dozen, a okay. dozen, a dozen um, in between there. Since you for found out when this case was scheduled for trial, correct? Mm -hmm. Have you had any phone calls with him? I have. About how many? Two. And what were the nature of those phone calls? Um, just, I, 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 he, he called me and I asked if he was coming to the trial because I had to go and that was it. 
We didn't talk about what testimony was or any type of defense information. No, I, I, not really. Okay. If there was a recorded phone call with Z indicating that he's talked to you about the case, you would dispute well, I, that? I did actually talk to him about something that um, the prosecution told me. Okay. And what was that? Um, the part of the defense. Okay. So you told that to Z directly? Yes. And that was based on a conversation you had with? Yes. Okay. And you were aware that Z is a witness either for the state? I was or not aware of that. Okay. He didn't tell you that? He did not tell me that. Okay. But you did give him that information, correct? Well, he said he'd been talking to you. In the state? Both. The defense and the state. Thank you. No further questions. Any redirect? Just briefly. Mr. Ablin, um, you indicated you talked to Z about something that you and I had discussed. Um, did you want to come to this trial? Not really. Okay. Um, and did I explain to you why your presence at this yes, trial was necessary? Yes, which is why important? I'm here. Okay. Um, and are those the things that you discussed with Z? Yes. Okay. Um, and um, did I tell you that, that one of the things we need to establish is how everybody reacted to the situation? Yes. Okay, um, and you had information about that re his reaction, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. He was mortified. Um, a minute ago, you you said that you had told law enforcement that you kind of described him as like a crazy hippie. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Just you know, ultra hippie, love the earth kind of guy. Okay. You know, religious. Uh, okay. Um, you indicated that you had had discussions with him or connected with him over like higher consciousness and things yes. like that. Do you share all of his belief systems? No. Okay. Um, and does he respect that in terms of yes. your relationship? Yes, very much so. Nothing further. Thank you. I don't have any other questions. Thank you. All right. Uh, then the witness may be excused. Yes. All right, you are free to go, sir. Thank you. And we are going.